Welcome everyone to Neverwinter Live. Uh, I have lost count of how many streams we've done. This has been awesome. We have had a very, very successful um, string of tutorials, and we are halfway through. I would say them. There's quite a, quite a few I can do left, but I am sort of running out of uh, ideas. So if any of you who are watching these streams regularly have any suggestions please let me know uh, because I uh, would love to um, would love to get your suggestions because we can do all sorts of things um, with Neverwinter but tonight we are going to be going over the Underdark and Maze engine campaign um, oh and you know what I forgot for the free drawing I forgot to look at our bank where we got uh, what we got to as a prize. Okay, guess what? It's going to be a mystery prize tonight. How about that? So, uh, later on in the stream, we'll be running a uh, free drawing, and uh, you'll just have to enter it. You, in order to do that, you have to be a follower, but if you are, you'll enter the stream drawing, and you'll be able to get a wonderful prize. Usually, we give away a, a rare companion or mount, so I think we're going to go along the same route as that. Um, Thank you all again for joining the stream. I hope you enjoy it, and let's go ahead and get started right in. I got my my man man mate Alan helping me out as well. He's with me there, um, and uh, he'll be providing a little bit of support there. So right now we're gonna go over the Underdark and uh, Maze Engine campaign. Uh, if you've watched my previous stream, you've already gone through both of the skirmishes for the Underdark campaign, so it'll be a little bit quicker today. Uh, but we have one more type of dungeon to run, the Demogorgon, Gorgon. So we'll be running that later on in the stream. Um, but those two uh, skirmishes, the Prophecy of Madness and the... Throne of Gor Dwarven Gods are down here. There is no item level limit to them. The good thing about the Underdark campaign as well is that this campaign does not have a strict item level limit. Uh, you do have to be level 70, I think, to start it. But you can, once you're level 70, you're good to go. You don't have to have a particular item level, so that's nice. Oh, it's 60. Alan says it's 60, uh, so he's probably run it earlier. You, he's run it later than I have, so I, I trust him. So I, I, we're going to say 60. Because um, I think that I think you're right. Uh, but in order to do so, we, when you're 60, uh, hey, hey, what's up, Rex? Glad you could join us. Welcome aboard. We're running through the Underdark and uh, Maze Engine campaign tonight, as well as um, doing a free drawing, as well as a Demogorgon. So we're we got a pack full night. Uh, it'll be nice, and exciting, but the free drawing will be later on for a rare companion or a rare mount. You just gotta make sure you follow in order to be in that drawing uh, later on. Thanks, Travis, for the host. Glad you could make it, man. Uh, Travis has been here since day one. Woo woo! Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Those the those um, cues right are here: the Prophecy of Madness and Throne of Dwarven Gods. I showed them in my last stream, which is going to be up on YouTube. You can follow my link at the bottom of my Mixer profile if you are missed any of them. Um, <laughs> Mr. Amazing is finally here. So okay, all right, all right. He's he's now he's dubbing himself a name. He's been here so long. I think uh, I think Travis has gotten a little too big of a head. Mr. Falls Asleep. Alan says Mr. Falls Asleep. So I think I think that's I think that it makes more sense for him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, let, we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is the area you're gonna go to. Uh, again, you gotta be level 60. But as soon as you do, you can go to the Underdark. So you'll be here in the Sword Coast, and it it'll show up right there, the Underdark. And when you click on it, you're gonna want to go to Mental Dareth. All right, and you'll show up right here on the dock to this creepy Underdark world. As you can tell, they uh, they did a great job with Underdark. I was super impressed when it came out because it looks awesome. And it's super creepy. And there's a bunch of demons you can squish and crush. So that's just right up my alley, crushing demons. Um, I love it. So uh, you come right on up here off the docks, and you're going to go through a couple introductory quests. Again, I want to specify that I've done, I'm doing this with a character that has already run through all the quests, so I can't show you every quest one after the other. 
um, because I, I need to make sure I can at least get through the whole <laughs> the whole campaign. Because if I stayed here and did the whole campaign, uh, I'd be here for days, and we'd have like a 24-hour long stream or more, and that wouldn't be fun. So, to do, uh, we're going to go over the, both the Maze Engine and the Underdark. The Maze Engine was kind of an extra thing that was thrown into the Underdark campaign. It's kind of a mini quest line, it, per se, mini campaign. Uh, I love, I love the Maze Engine campaign. The only problem is the Maze Engine campaign has takes like a guarantee of 25 days to complete. So I'd highly suggest if you're a new player and you're a new level 60 or 70, one of those two, and you are open, and the maze engine opens up, immediately start on it. Because the maze engine has a particular daily quest that can only be done once a day. Um, and if you miss a day, you miss a day in finishing the entire maze quest, uh, maze engine quest, which sucks. Don't so, yeah, don't, don't do. Don't skip. Yeah, don't skip the maze engine. It, it's, it's one of those things that's just, you can easily forget about, and yeah, don't do that. Alright, uh, so let's go over the maze engine first, because that's just the easiest thing. When you come over here, you're going to go to Brunauer Battlehammer. Uh, Mr. Batter Battlehammer will give you the quests. And, uh, sorry, that is my dog. She has been going crazy. Quiet. Alright, cool. Alright, so, uh, and what you're going to do is... First of all, I'm going to point out the replay maze engine quests. So the real cool thing about these maze engine quests are you can replay them for really cool achievements if you're so inclined. Um, so you can go through these acts. They're Act 1. So this Act 1, Chapters 1 through 3. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Rex, for the follow. Awesome. Glad you can join us. Let's give some points out for the follow again. Uh, what kind of dog? So I have a Puggle. She is ha half Pug, half Beagle, and she's crazy. Um, she gets, she has that hound dog bark to her, if you've heard it, so kind of annoying. Um, so anyway, these first two, three chapters are going to be the ones that you're going to initially do. So you're going to go through each one of these. Um, let's go ahead and try to do the first one, just for fun. Oh, you have to do chapter two as well? Okay, we can do that. Let's do let's do chapter two. Um I bet you I have to I have to drop this uh quest. So we're gonna go through chapter two. Since Alan's telling me on the mic that we are uh that he hasn't done that one yet. So we'll do that for fun. Do 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 ba no, no sports of actions. I don't want to do that. Okay, Sword of Justice. Okay, where do I go? It's been a while since I've done this. Sword of Justice. Down. Down to. Oh, over to the Fiery Pit. Oh, Cult Assassin. So this isn't at the Fiery Pit. This is actually a separate thing that you can do. Um, it'll pop up on your map. So we're going to head on down here, even though I have a travel po signpost. I should have thought of that one. I walked all the way down here. And here it's going to pop up right here. So we're going to head over there and show you just how these chapters work. They're typical quests. They have a storyline to them, so they'll give you some introduction to it. And you can run through them. Again, there's kind of fun achievements you can kind of mess around with in each one of these. And I think they have Xbox achievements connected to them as well. So be aware of that if you're an achievement, achievement hog. Righteous boot to the face! Vince comes back, which I love. He becomes a companion. Thank you! Landrash has made it to one of the streams. He, Landrash is awesome. He is one of our guild founders. Uh, speaking of guild, I'm going to put our guild out there. If you are not part of our guild, join up because we are awesome. We are all together in this and uh, one big family, and we absolutely love it. We have a lot of fun. Good, Rex. Sorry. Glad it's an easy night at work. Glad I can you can pass your time here because it's way better than being at work. I, I watch Mixer at work too. <laughs> I, I'm I'm bad like that. Uh, but hey, you know what? I mean, what, if you have the time, you have the time, and if it's not blocked on your computer, you know, they're kind of asking for it or your phone. I guess if you can get your phone, 
probably what most people did. So this one is defeat the cult's army, nine of them, as well as four fire giant commanders. So we're just going to run around here and do some damage. We're not killing demons yet, which, well, that's under dark more, so we'll, we'll kill more demons toward later on in the stream. Uh, Where's my... Okay, my map, unfortunately, is... I still need to fix... My chat box is put over top my map, and I need to fix that, because I can't see anything. So if you see me running around, r walking into walls and stuff, that's... That is why. Yeah. Alan, lead the way. Oh, you can even use your mount in this dungeon. Look at that. See, they got smarter. Some of the uh, earlier dungeons, you couldn't run with your mount at all. It sucked. But as the they've gotten longer, and the dungeons have gotten longer, and it's just it's just easier to go on mounts now. Oh, look, another fire giant wants to come up. He wants to come up and have some fun, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shadow, you had two Caffeine. Why did you do that? What What is your timetable right now? Is this the evening for you? Why would you do that right before going to bed? Oh, that's right. You're on like, uh, you're on like strike. Oh, I'm sorry, Lyndon. I actually used, I said the dress, and that's another person that joined. You're a... Oh yeah, yes, that's that's who you are. So um, I apologize. <laughs> I don't know why. I get all these names mixed up. So Linden is the best. He <laughs> is the founder, of, one of the founders of the guild, and they have been a great support. He is part of the reason why we have such great prizes during the stream. So make sure you guys do a shout out to him, because uh, he's what gives you all those wonderful mounts and stuff. Know what I'm doing? Am I killing too many things, Alan? I think yeah, I am. We need to be killing a fire giant. Okay. This is like a challenge for me. I feel like I'm doing this all over again. It's kind of fun. I haven't done this in a while. Die, fire giant! Is this sword just like. So most of these are the same way, they're chapters, uh, wh when I uh, were showing you, uh, the first three chapters are what you do, and then you have to do daily quests, and you have to do a certain number of daily quests, and then another three chapters, and then you do another set of daily quests, and you do another three chapters, and then you do a final set of daily quests, and you get into the final three chapters, so there's 12 chapters in all. General Fury. I could have... Nick Fury. That's what it is. I love how some, again, I make comments about the, uh, the devs all the time. Streams, they're like, why this guy just hammers on them. But sometimes they just don't come up with smart names for things. I mean, it's like they were, there was a time crunch and they were like, what, what is his name? What is his name? Oh, let's, let's General Fury. That's what we're going to do. Not very dragon, Dungeons and Dragons. Is the stream lagging for anyone else? Um, I am having the stream on my computer right now, and it does not look like it's lagging, Shadow. So it might be an issue with your modem. Or uh, if you're on mobile, I apologize. Mixer does not do a good job with uh, with their or uh, mobile mobile. Uh, stuff. They don't do a good job at all. You need to fix that mixer. Okay. So that is chapter two, and then we're going to return. And you got to do three chapters before you can actually get to the point where you're doing the daily quests. So run through those first three and uh, turn them in. I'm not going to keep going through those chapters because that could take all night as well. We got other things to talk to, and I can help you out, Alan, later with these if you want. 
but once you get through the first three chapters, you're going to get two. You're going to get a choice. It's going to called supporting the factions. That's your daily quest. When you hit that, it's going to show up and it's going to give you some a astral diamonds, um, a resonance stone, and these tales of adventure. These tales of adventure are the campaign currency for Maze, Maze Engine, and you can only get one of them per day, which sucks. Um, so that's the whole reason why I'm saying don't forget this daily quest every day because this is the only way you're going to get one. So I'm going to accept it and um, when once you accept that it's going to give you a second quest pop up called Defending the Sword Coast. This is the quest you need to finish to finish the quest I just accepted and get your campaign currency if that made sense. <laughs> you got to finish one quest to finish the other quest to get the campaign currency. So this is Defending the Sword Coast. It gives you an Alliance Supply Catch, which isn't really the best stuff. that You can't really do anything with it. I mean, I can show you what you do with it, but it's not that important. This Ballad of bah Bahomet, Bahomet, is that how you say it? Um, is... Uh, is the weekly quest that you get after you finish the maze, wench, uh, maze engine. This is a really good quest to have, so it gives you more... It, it encourages you to finish the maze engine, let's just say that, because you get a ton of boons from the maze engine that are really good, and at the end you get a weekly quest that gives you 4,500 rough astral diamond every week. So that's awesome. Alright, uh, so once we finish, I'll show you the campaign. I'm sorry, I'm really, like, burpy tonight. I think I've had one too many beers already. Um, if I start, like, just listing to the side of the screen, it's because I've drinking them too many beers, so that's all right. Bafomet. Okay. Thank you, Corey. I knew Corey would say something. Corey's the, uh, uh, the D&D pro. Yeah, linguist. He gets he like he gets so frustrated with me af after streams. He's always telling me, "You got this so wrong. You're not a true D and D guy." And I'm like, "I know, I know, but you know, what what, what am I gonna do? Like, I, I love playing this game and I love reading the books. That's all I love doing. So, yeah. Uh, yes. Um, Lyndon is right. Alliance supplies give you crap gear and the chance." Uh, change the appearance of your good gear. So uh, I do, I never use them. I I think I still have all the alliance gear that I ever got, or the alliance supplies I ever got. So, <laughs> um, but uh, hey, if it's your thing and if appearance is your thing, there's some good appearances for the gear. So, all right. Well, let's go up into the maze engine just to show you the campaign build. So it's going to start from your bottom right, and it's going to go around in a kind of S motion all the way to the top. This one is going to be the first one. Um, you get the first three campaign currencies from completing each of the first three chapters. So if you finish the first three chapters, it'll be like, hey, you win, good job, you get a Dwarven Battle Rager, which actually is a really awesome um, companion, so definitely go for that. Um, I love the Dwarven Battle Rager, I used it for a long time until I got a better, uh, a better, better companion. So that's a good one to have. So that gives you automatically a nice new companion you can use. Another reason to start this as soon as possible. And then you get into uh, and then you get into this. So your in order to move up in your task line, you actually need to get the boons. So unlike other campaigns where the boons are kind of off to the side, you have to actually claim the boons to move to the next tax line. So in order to complain claim this first boon, you need to complete five of those campaign currencies. So you know what that means? That means that you have to work for five days. Hey, what's up? What's up? Um, I'm sorry, Potato Infinity, let, um, please connect me to your name in the guild. I will get this right one day. The more streams I do with you guys in it, the better I will get. Um, but glad you could join. So to get these five uh, campaign currencies, you need to we do it for five days. Once you do that, you get a nice Gabe. Gabe, thank you. Alan is Alan's on top of me right now. He, he okay. Welcome, Gabe. Glad you can make it to the stream, man. Uh, so uh, the boons have gotten better. Remember, guys, they now have item levels. So all of a sudden, all your campaigns in getting boons not only does it benefit your character, but it also gives you item levels. So it's kind of like a cherry on top. Now you get item level for each boon you claim. Uh, the nice thing about the maze engine, even though you have to do a daily quest once a day, 
I'm about to do the daily quest, you're going to see how quick it is. I can do it, you can do it in like no time. So as long as you get it done every day that you play Neverwinter, you get all these boons like really quickly. They're just easy to get, you don't have to grind for any campaign currency, you just get one a day. That's it. It's the simplest campaign out there, it just takes, it just takes time. So finish that, five days you get this nice little boon and you go to the next one. And the next one is going to be the next three chapters, or two chapters, I'm sorry. It'll be the next two chapters, four and five, act two. And then you get the replica Battle Ranger armor. Which, if you're into that dressing up and looking cool and all that stuff, yeah, it works for you. I'm, I'm not into that. You'll see I have the most boring uh, set of armor because I never put anything onto it. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get a kick out of trying to find something cool to do, but for right now, I'm not going to. <laughs> um, the next thing is defending, so there's your second one, there's your 10 days, um, so that's what you're up to 15 days right now, because again, you can go through each of the chapters within a, the, the night that it's given to you, so you, I'm not really counting those. So you have 5 for the first one, 10, you're at 15 days, then you got gather components, you get mountain signias, these are always good, these are rare mountain signias, these actually have gone up in price um, as well because of the item level increase of them, or the item level addition to them, so this is also just a great thing to, to get for free, you get a nice rare insignia. Then you go to Assault the Demons, 15 days, so you're up to 25 days right now. And as soon as you finish this, you're going to go into this, which is going to be the last three chapters. And it'll finish and give you that end, the end of the boons. So right there, there's your, there you go. You got 25 days, you're done, you're done the campaign. That easy, you run through all the chapters. The chapters are really easily. A lot of them were soloable. Um, again, do it with a friend if you like, because you guys can keep yourself accountable. Say, hey, we need to do this every night we get on together at least to start it out. Um, so that way you can finish it. And this, I mean, these boons are awesome. Let me just show you this last boon, because I love it. Um, I got this one, because I'm a DPS awesome but every time I strike a foe I have a chance of gaining 2,000 critical strike bonus for six seconds which is like awesome for me as a DPS players but there's some other good ones too like um, shielding for tank there look you get you get increased damage resistance by 60 percent for three seconds um, which is crazy um, what else we got here healing spells uh, that's 20,000 hit points um, around to you and your allies so that's awesome and then um, control stuff uh, I don't really use control stuff but yeah if you like it you like it all right so that is how you, that is the campaign task pain for that I'm gonna show you the daily quest now it'll show up to you um, again you once you claim both those quests it's right there on the right so defending the sword coast is what you want to do right and that is random so the one I show you right now is not gonna be the one you're gonna get all the time so make sure you look at that quest and say hey this is what I'm going to do so this one is defending the chasm from demons so I have to go to the chasm and steal demonic ritual components in the chasm as well as um, do one other thing which does not show up on the bottom of my quest line You, okay, um, the chasm, uh, Alan, is actually something that you should have done between levels 1 and 60. So you can go back to it. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can go back to it with me. It's it's so, the, the Sword Coast, um, whatever you call, uh, defending the Sword Coast thing, you make you go back to previously done maps. It goes up in, that, in the general map. So right now, if you're familiar with this, you've played Neverwinter, you've already been to this map, but it shows up in here. So look, it'll say, steal demonic ritual components right here in the chasm, and then it shows you two, t two places where you defend. Um, most of these are similar, they're just in different maps. So if you go to a different map, look for a similar thing, though. You're going to collect ritual components that are going to be laying on top of that, you're going to be killing demons in two areas on the map and it show you where they are. So let's go on down here. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go to the uh, ritual area first. So these pop up right here only if you have the quest. They won't show up if you're doing anything else. But here they 
bunch of skulls, and this is where you start crushing demons, which is awesome. Who loves crushing demons? That's why I love playing Doom. You just get to just go ham on a bunch of demons. I'm gonna wait for Alan to show up. Here, there he comes. So if you hit it, okay, it's real finicky, and then it'll put a little and kill the demons and show up to it. Oh, that's those are not the demons. Oh, so some of them are NPCs. Um, so this is the Baylor. He's like a big one. Um, some of them aren't. It all depends on what you get. Yes. Um, don't. Again, I, I should have put a warning out before the beginning. Um, is it done? No, it's not done. It's gotta be done. Yeah, it, it popped up for me. I mean, it. Okay, good. So, uh, the other thing you have to do is you have to collect ritual components around the area. And this is, gets kind of hard because, um, <laughs> you'll. The more you do this, the more you'll know where the ritual components actually show up. Not done this in a while. Here they are. This is what they look like. Steel demonic ritual components. They those spots are guaranteed in any of the maps. Uh, they're they're always going to stay the same. They won't ever change. The problem is is that I haven't memorized these maps in so long. Usually they're in a line. So here's one right here. <laughs> I usually get like four of them out of the five, and I just r I'm running around for probably another. And the last one, you can look this up on the computer. Uh, if you look it up on the computer, no big deal. Just uh, it'll show you where everything is. <laughs> All right, what am I at three right now? <laughs> this will be fun. I could be spending the whole rest of the rest of the stream doing this. I guess they don't show up for you either, Alan, because I'm the only one claiming it. Okay, I remember there's one there. Yes, all right, it's coming back to me. So here we are, I'm at my four, so obviously the fifth one's going to be very elusive, because I always forget where it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm out of the bubble, I'm out of the bubble, back in. If you guys have done this in the chat, please call it out to me if I miss it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely in this line. Um... Where was it? Where did you go? Oh. No, it's it's gotta be in a line. Um, so Rex, the UFO I'm sitting on, this does not have 4K power. I did this to get the combat power, not the boost. So I can show you really quick. Um, good question. Nope, not campaign, not companion, mounts. So I got the combat power. The equipped power, unfortunately, for this is a 4,000 recovery, which is not good for a DPS player, which is why I do not have that equipped right now. I have to get another legendary mount um, in order to do that, in order to get that power. I think the Aberrant Rage Drake is the one that does the 4,000 power. But this is has the best combat power by far, so this is why I picked this one first. Um, transformed in a stronger fighting machine, you get 10% power and you get 10% faster and it ga gave me plus two to every single one of my classes. So that's the only reason uh, I got that one. Okay, there are two at the bottom of the bubble. Okay, I did only get one, didn't I? So you're right. Somewhere, Alan, it's around here. Maybe, maybe it is down here. With, I don't remember going this far. Mm -mm. Oh, there it is. No, no, this is the other one. Well, anyway, here's the other challenge. So you need to do it twice. We're going to go ahead and do that. Come at me. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> alright, alright. I mean, it probably doesn't help them, but... But sure, I mean, you know, if they want to join in on the heroic and help me out, I'm all for it. Oh, oh, okay, I was, I was... Oh, yeah, look, there she is. I, I admit, I think I played one where I couldn't solo any of them, so I kept trying...
trying to push her into fighting them and then backed away. She died like several, several times. There's one on the left and there's one on the right. Okay. So I think I got the one on the right, so I should have... No, I got the one on the left. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is, um... This is it. This is usually what happens with me, guys. Um, I think I got the one on the left, which is right here. So I need to get one on the right. They, yeah, they did not make it what? easy to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna like run up here and hopefully see like a weird yeah because they 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 definitely are in like a line I got the one right there well guys I might just say that's how you get it, and then move on to the next thing, because I do not feel like doing this for the next... Whee! I don't know why I'm, like, dropping weird. My disc is not keeping me on balance. Alright, well guys, we're gonna go ahead and say that you gotta finish that quest. Yeah, what am I doing? I already finished all this. Pfft. Let's move on. So you go back and you claim that, and that's how you do the Never the Maze Engine campaign, and boom, you're done. That simple. No, it's just not really that simple, but. Oh, wait, is it right in front of me? <gasps> oh my god. I cannot believe I missed that the whole time. Right in front of my freaking face. I think it appeared, guys. I don't think it even showed up. They're just messing with me. Okay. Let's go ahead and head on back to the Underdark. Or actually, let's go to... Dread Ring. So I'm going to show you... Um, I, I showed in a previous stream a while ago. Oh, sorry, Alan. You don't have a signpost yet. I left you behind. Jump on the back of the bus. Man, that was a quick spawn of the signpost then. That's kind of... Usually it sticks around for a little bit longer, but... Um, the Dread Ring is going to be the best place you're going to get demonic encounters. Uh, so make sure you are doing that as well. The Underdark campaign, I'll show you that... Uh, campaign screen is right here. This is similar to so there's nothing new. Um, the one that you do, you actually fill it up exactly like the Dread Ring campaign by processing phasers. 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 Of phasers. Alan calls it phasers. Alright, we're going to call it phasers. That's, um, it's too Star Trek-y, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll keep with it. Corey will come to me. <laughs> um. Oh, is that what he says phasers too? Okay, well then, uh, then screw it. It's going to be phasers from now on. Um, anybody who watches my stream will at least consider, they'll just call it phasers and they'll keep keep calling it that. But anyway, to do that, you just need 200 of those. You can get those over here. Uh, if you look at today's feature, that's a good way to show you what you can do. So you get up to 150. You get 100 for skirmishes. And you can get um, up to like... 50 or something random for all these demonic encounters so definitely do the run the demonic encounters they show up like right here right here and right here but usually you only play these two so you play one right here and one right here you can farm those like all day especially while you're doing other quests so the demonic um enclosures sorry alan i'm actually heading right back out now but <laughs> it's like i just caught up <laughs> um but as soon as you finish the demonic enclosures, you can move on to the next campaign. The demonic enclosures pop up in Icewind Dale, they pop up in Dreadring, and they pop up in Well of Dragons. So you can do your other quests and be collecting 
the for the Underdark at the same time, which is always great. Um, so again, the Underdark campaign, I'll, I'm going to tell you guys right now, <laughs> um, the boons suck. They're like horrible. Um, and uh, so since the boons suck, I actually didn't spend much time on this Underdark campaign. It's kind of something I just did on a whim. Um, whenever you have enough uh, phasers is what we're calling them right now. Um, you might want to just put those into the process and claim them. Hey, what's up? DC is in the house. Um, but yeah. Is there a way to get rid of a mount in your stable? <laughs> um, hmm, let me see, Shadow. Good question. Mount in your stable. Yeah, um, if you hit Y... Oh, you're saying in this stable, this thing. No, as soon as you claim the mount, the mount's in your stable, unfortunately. But you can swap, is that what you're talking about? To swap, you hit Y on the mount you want to swap out. So if I hit Y here, and then it shows me all the mounts in my stable. You can look at all my ugly mounts. Like my Sabino horse, and my water deep horse. And this beetle... <laughs> the free beetle that everybody should have gotten. Um, so what was I saying? So yeah, the Underdark campaign. I'm not. I was not too keen on the boons, and I can show you why. Uh, let's see. Like there's this one's. Uh, okay, 400 power. That's good to get. Get that quickly. Okay, crit. That's eh, fine. Uh, okay, it's not bad, but uh, like this one, eh, it's not too good. 10% combat advantage. Uh, okay, here's where it gets sucky. Um, this one really has nothing. Like, why? Who needs more stamina or control unless you, like, really want it? And then this last one, which you could be like, oh, this is super exciting. Like, this is the best. Usually these are the best uh, boons. And it really just applies to demons. <laughs> um, so as soon as you finish the Underdark campaign and the Maze Engine, guess what? You don't really fight demons too much anymore. I mean, every once in a while you might, but again, it, it doesn't really benefit that much. So that's why I don't spend as much time. Also, with these Underdark um, boons, you can't see right now because I've claimed them. Oh, it actually does show it. You have to buy these books in order to do that. Usually, these books drop from the Demigordon... Gorgon or one of the other skirmishes, but they're really rare at dropping. Like, I've, I've played quite a bit. Yeah, especially this one. Usually by the time you get to this boon, this is really hard. Dwarven Spelunkers does not drop very well. And, um, yeah. And so if you are really looking for that, you usually just have to buy it from the trade house, and obviously it's gone up in price. Because, yeah, everybody wants to get their money's worth if it's dropping rare. So, this is one of those things that I would not stress about. If you get to the point where you're like, I can't finish my freaking Underdark campaign, like, move on. Like, just move on. You'll you'll be fine. Not to mention, all the amount of time you have to put the phaser process in there, um, you could be spending on better things. Like, creating lesser demonic keys. Or, once you get to here, the greater demonic key. This is, like, the best thing in the Underdark campaign right here. I love it. Um, I create greater demonic keys all the time when I have enough because it's a 20 hour uh, process so it's definitely it's got to be worth it right if it's a 20 hour process um, but you can get some really good gear in the skirmishes or the demi gorgon and I will suggest to you that you do not use these keys unless you get a gold score in the demo demi gorgon master um, because that's the only way you're going to get Twisted Ichor. And Twisted Ichor is the way to get the next set of really great artifact equipment after the initial set that you got from Elemental Evil. So uh, if you're not doing River District yet, yet, River District, if you remember in one of my other streams, was a better set of artifact gear. But if you want to kind of um, farm Epic Demigordon, um, to get those artifact weapons, you can also do that because they're very good as well, and they're it's so easy to get um, twisted ichor. I mean, the 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 demigorn is just it, it's it's gotten much easier as people have gotten better. You can almost get pulled through an, uh, an epic demigorn in gold at this point if you if you set it up right. Um, some other things, stronghold supplies, really good once you get to the point where you're not spending anything anymore. Um, Again, I usually use mine for 
the key. Sorry, guild. Um, but yeah, there's you can get other things you can turn in to the guild. And then this one's kind of like a fluke all. Like you can get 4,000 ast rough astral diamonds by doing it, but the amount of effort it would take you to get 600 furries and then 125 uh, ichor, you're just going to get better things if you turn it in and make the greater um, demonic key. Because the greater demonic key gives you the best chance to get a plus 5 ring, which is what everybody's trying to get right now. They're really rare drops. Um, but they're also like the best ring to put on your character and you can get it again because there is no l item level cap so if you're like a new level 70 it's like an easy item level um, boost if you get one of those plus five rings because all your friends that are higher than you will be jealous of you, including me yes the regular Icar Mm. Oh. Okay, alright, cool. Alan's just telling me that uh, you can use the regular uh, Icker that you got to to turn in and get those Drowcraft um, armors, the, the shirt and the pants, and you can actually turn those in for AD as well. And there is a max of the Icker, so make sure that as soon as you maxed out the Icker that you use it. Like, I think I maxed mine out, and I have not done that yet. I probably need to. What is it? Yep. 1,200. So make sure that as soon as you max it out, you spend it and get those AD for it. Um, but what else is there? Random stuff in Underdark Campaign. There's the Demigorn we can do next. We're kind of getting toward the end of our stream. Let's go ahead and queue up. Is anybody out there still in the game? I'm going to actually put it down on my, uh, my uh, guild chat. If you are not part of this guild... Oh, my dog. Golly. Dang, she freaks me out sometimes. She... Uh, for demo. So there's two demos. There's a regular demo and a epic demo. Or um, anyone? I hate Xboxes. Chat thing. Anyone in? Let's do that. I just want to be as quickly in as. Possible. Okay, DC's in. DC, let's get DC in then. I just might send, I might spam invitations to like everybody. Who else is in? Uh, invite to group. Invite to group. Come on, come on. Oh wait, I guess I should check to see if they can actually play Demigordon. Um, Charlie, what are you? So, in order to get Demigordon, I'll show you guys the. You do need an item level for Demigordon because it's pretty extreme. The Demigordon is a 8,400 item level and the Master is 9,500. The Demonic Master is the only one that gives you Twisted Ichor, which is what you need to get for your. Um, your artifact weapon if you're going for that and again to get twisted ichor you have to have a key and you have to be able to open up the chest and get two um, twisted ichor at a gold level of the demigordon the demigordon uses ranks just like it we showed in the other skirmishes so it does a bronze silver and gold and I'll show you that oh Travis is already falling asleep well hopefully uh, it are you saying that, Travis? So I have to do the drawing because I already told you you're not you're not allowed to be in the drawing. All right, good. DC's good to go. Let's see who else. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and go like with that since we just have three guys on here, and I'll just send you an invite. And hopefully, other people want to play. So with Demigorn, you need ten people, which is kind of hard. So uh, if you are not, uh, if you're like one person waiting, you occasionally we'll have have a long queue let's see our average wait time is two minutes oh cool um humors and i wonder i didn't see what he had what's his item level Here. yeah i did but i invited him maybe too quickly because i didn't inspect what his item level was oh yeah oh i think he's got it sweet Alright, so we got four here, and we're going to start with Demigord and hopefully get six more. <laughs> Travis was just making a statement. Hmm. Sure. Sure, Travis. Sounds like whining. Sounds like whining. Alan says it sounds like whining to him. Uh, 
All right, let's see what we got. Come on, guys. We need six more. I probably should have queued on this earlier. What else can I do? I guess I can do the drawing. Let's go to the guild bank and take a look, guys. Let's go to the guild bank. We're on a adventure. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, giving everybody some points because it's awesome. Dude, I'm getting up there, man. I'm almost, we're going to have to do a big celebration. I'll have to do some big giveaways. Uh, I'm coming up on 500 views and 50 follows. So uh, definitely give uh, spread this to any friends who want to uh, who want to watch, too. Uh, we I love doing this for anybody. It doesn't need to be just the guild. It could be anybody. Uh, you all get prizes no matter what. You're in the guild or not. Let's see. Whoa. We're still waiting. Oh wait, it says waiting for map. Did I miss the? No. Oh good. Okay. I I okay. I hope not. I changed over. All right. Here's the guild bank. What sh is in it? What is in the magic guild bank? Go down All to special items. Oh, it popped. You guys are gonna have to wait. <laughs> I was a little tantalizing, wasn't it? I like popped it open. And it was like. Pfft. I'm like gone. Like, this is what you gotta look for. Shh, gone. And we're in. We are in. Let's hope we get a good team. So this is demo. This is a little bit easier than the master. I will show you how to play this. The master is slightly different on some uh, semantics, which I will specify while I'm going through the through the thing. First thing to do, make sure that as soon as you get in here, you go and get on this circle. All ten people need to be on this circle before they start. If you're one of those people that stays back and waits for a long time to get on the circle, someone's going to freaking punch you in the nuts, because it's just freaking annoying. Like, it, it says prepare battle over there, so yes, you have four minutes and thirty seconds to get your little act together and your you know, while well, you're, you're all good, but uh, you need to make sure that you uh, respect the people that want to play. So, right now we're all on. Like, who else? Yeah, get your ass on five. What are we waiting for? <gasps> Do we not have ten people? So, the other thing is, if you don't have ten people, guess what? You gotta wait. Which kind of sucks right now. Helix left. So don't leave either. If you're gonna, if you're gonna add, be added into the dungeon, if you accept, if you accept the quest, you must join in. Okay. Although I mean, I guess he, I guess his thing could have diced. So. Anyway, yes, yes. Yes. So Alan just asked me a question, and the only reason why I repeat what Alan says is because people have already given me information that it's very hard to hear him in the party chat. It is connected and piped in, so if you hear murmur, murmur, it's probably him talking. Um, but unfortunately, I do not have a good mic yet. <laughs> I need to get some money um, before I do that. But as soon as I do that, um, it'll be good to go. Oh, did we get somebody? We got somebody else in. Oh, Helix did. He must have diced. I judged too quickly. I apologize, Helix. Um, but yes, Alan asked, do you only go for the purple portals? So yes, this that is the start. Uh, the Demigorgon Gorgon is one of the first um, maps that you're probably going to be exposed to as a, new, as a new 70, as soon as you get enough item level, that you're going to want to do it a certain way. If you do not listen and you do not work with your group, you will fail and you will let everyone else lose with you. So make sure that you do that. Yeah, or, or people will start, like, screaming at you in zone chat. You know, it's, it's pretty funny. I mean, they shouldn't be doing that because that's just really childish. But it is quite funny to see people just, like, flip out on, like, No, you're going the wrong way! So anyway, uh, you're going to get these little areas, safe zones. Um, and what's going to happen is these rifts are going to pop up. You only go for the purple rifts. Do not go for any of the other ones. If you open another rift, someone will scream at you. The purple ones are the ones that matter. So as soon as the purple rift opens, you want to kill the two big bullies that popped out of it. Don't try to kill anything else. If you're a tank, if you are a tank, you are going to want to draw the Demigorgon off of everybody else. Which this tank is not doing. Okay. Um, 
Yes. If you if you die, you need to release. I don't know why. It's, who is pulling this guy? Okay, don't pull them either. So if the things haven't been killed yet, if the things after you, just let it attack you and die. Don't pull it across. What are you doing? This is a bad. This is a bad drawing, guys. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what this team's doing right now. What? What? Kill it. All right. So there you go. Uh, you kill one of the purple, you immediately get bronze level, which is nice. Again, if you get kind of uh, sickness, this that blue sickness, you got to make sure you go on these circle paths. Okay, we're going to move over here again. I don't know why anybody's not moving to this next one. It looks like they're actually opening up the other ones as well. We, are, we have a bunch of people going rogue. I'm going to keep following the way you're supposed to do it, so that way you guys can see it since I'm streaming. But you come over here, open the next one, and you kill this one, and you're going to keep going. It's, it, the more you kill these, uh, you can get gold. Um, and the whole point is, again, to get gold through each of the three levels, just like the uh, other two skirmishes that I showed in the last screen. <laughs> Electric statue. I don't know what you just said. You said, learn. I'm assuming you were saying LOL. Soulfire? Soulfire. Okay. Awesome. Glad glad to see you. Glad to see you in the stream. This is awesome. Well, we have a lot of people, so good, good luck guys getting the prize tonight. Um, we'll check on Travis and make sure he's asleep first. Shh. Don't wake him. I guess I should be quieter. Okay, the Demigorn's over here. Alright, so there you go. We're, we can get silver, possibly. And there's a countdown, so you can you have to open these up as quickly as possible and finish them. Um, usually, as a group, you can kind of clear out it fairly quickly. We shouldn't be struggling that much with a Demigorgon, unless we have a really bunch of low-level people, which is fine. Um, you kind of you get what you have. A lot of private matches can be done. Again, if you're part of our guild, we can always run one. We have quite a few members on at one time. Let me go ahead and put that in again, what our guild name is, as I multitask, because it really doesn't matter at this point. We're kind of running behind. We'll end up getting silver, I think. Run for the... <laughs> yeah, this can be a very overwhelming um, dungeon, so don't, uh, yeah. So as you can see, it looks like some people opened up some extra rifts, and that's what causes the real clogging that you see right now. Um, again, this is why you don't do that, because if you do that, you just have more demons that you have to fight off, and they, they really don't count for many points. Opening a green rift and finishing all the people in the green rift, you don't get very much. Um, it's just, it doesn't make sense. All right. I think we'll end this stream at a good time, and I give away the nice gift, the mystery gift. Whoever's online can comment on what they like the best. I can only give away certain things, so uh, yeah, don't, can't claim everything. But I'm gonna try to get healed here because I got sickness. All right, so we got a silver, which is nice. We have 37 seconds left, and again, uh, I can stress: don't quit just because it's silver. Um, if you're, I know that it might be annoying to keep playing, but you get good stuff no matter what. I'll still get good stuff at the end. You get, you get rings. No, yeah, who wants to be a hardcore gamer? <laughs> it's only the three of us doing these big purple riffs. Yeah, this is why people need these tutorials. You know, you're a new player, you go in here, so you are just going to know more than most of the people in there. Just be just by list looking at this tutorial. Um, so that's the first section. You have to skip through these little, these few. You gotta f skip through these little things in order to do the next one. Don't stick on the semantics because everybody else is waiting for you. Unless you want to look at them the first time. I mean, you can. But all right. So then the next section is gonna happen. If you guys have any more questions, um, please let me know. But yeah, just open the purple rifts and make sure you keep...
keep healing yourself. So here's the Goristrio. Goristro. Goristro. And he is going to... Um, so he's going to target people like this. Um, as you can see, I pointed him this way. There's a reason for that. So when he points toward you, you need to be paying attention. Also, when it says seek shelter in the sanity well, uh, that's, that's what it is. It's insanity sickness. I was looking for the name the other night, and I missed it. Um, but if you're in, if you says seek shelter in the insanity well, go there because it's an instant kill and it will destroy you. If you, if it gives you like five seconds to get in a well for safety, so do that. So uh, back to what I was saying, when it points to you, you're gonna want to target it toward. So it just targeted me, which is what I'm gonna do. Show you. Uh, if you point it toward and it missed, oh, for heck. don't do what I just did. But you want to point it toward the golden orbs over there. Now the golden orb changes. As you can see, there's four of them around the area. You need to target it and make sure that he goes toward the golden orb. If he hits the golden orb, it will actually take some of his health away. Now vice versa, if you point him toward one of the black orbs, you will actually heal him. So make sure you're paying attention, and the best thing to do, if you don't know where the orb is, point him directly toward the center of the map. So that way, he doesn't get healed, but he doesn't get hit either, and that's fine. Yeah, Alan just got one shot because he didn't get in the sanity well. And there's... Yes, the black orbs are horrible. Um, they will heal him quite a bit. If he heals once through a black orb, um, it's it's pretty much, it's very hard to get back what you need. Um, and the d depending on how much you kill him is, oh no, seek shelter in the well, I'm too far away, I'm gonna die. Oh, I can be in the bubble. What? That was lame. I was in the bubble. Luckily, my soul forged. Yes. Um, the only difference, again, like I said, there's several differences between the demonic uh, or the demigordon master, is that there is only one gold orb, and all three of the other orbs are black. So it's a little bit harder. In this one, you have two gold orbs, usually one on either side. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. I made it. Yes, Soul Forge is absolutely love. I is is the one purchase that like if you had astral diamonds just to drop right now on an enchantment do it like it saved me so much because a lot of times my soul forge picks me up and then my cleric can heal me instantly so it's just it's it's so much easier all right usually you stay next to the shelter well just to make sure and all you have to do is pop into the shelter as long as you pop in it once you can get right out so it, the whole thing when it says seek shelter just pop right into it and then uh, and then uh, leave and go back to fighting and every once in a while you'll get sickness insanity sickness and again just make sure you go into the well get all healed up how much time are we doing oh we're not doing good at all yeah this is if I had more people on, I would have probably ran more of a private match for you guys, but the whole point is to get how to play this. I didn't make it. Oh, Soul Forged again. That's two times in a row. Love it. Yes, it refreshes like every minute and a half. So again, if you can stay alive enough to get dropped by a Soul Forge, you're good to go. Come on, guys, we can do this. One minute. We gotta target toward we gotta target him toward Oh, that was almost the black. Hold to. Safety. <laughs> yeah, he does take some damage off when he charges. Yes, yeah, so you just gotta be ready for that. Um. Yeah. As you get. Um. Oh no! Where is he? Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. That was super laggy there. Me moving. Neverwinter has been having some major issues with lag lately. I I have not been very happy with. I don't know what they're messing around with, but again, always safe to just point him away from one of the orbs. If you don't know what the orb is, don't put it. Don't go for an orb because, yeah. All right, so we got bronze there. Kind of lame. 
Um, what is going on here? My dog is like chewing into something. Oh, she's okay. She's fine. My dog is getting into all kinds of trouble tonight. So see right there, Icewind, Coldheart just said down there, Wow, do any of you know how to do this trial? Um, that's very rude. Don't I wouldn't do that, even if you do know how to do it. But uh yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So good good to learn it now, what's going on. So this one's pretty easy. You just kill the Demigorgon. And again, you have to seek shelter. That was a really quick shelter. What does the H A do? Oh, that Holy Avenger. Um, I don't really know. I didn't even know there was a Holy Avenger. Are you pulling our leg, Travis? There's a shard of Holy Avenger, okay. Remember, again, if you can do... Yeah, if you can do... If you can't do your daily, it means you're about to get sickness. So make sure you pop yourself into one of those ins um, insanity well heals, healing wells. Man, that was the second... That was the second insanity I got in, like, a couple seconds. Yeah. The Demigorgon is actually easier than the middle guy um, in some respects. You can kind of just do straight damage to him, and he's he has actually less damage than the other guy. Um, it's just you have a shorter amount of time to kill him, and so as you see, the time is actually counting down. So the other guy, you actually, the more you killed of his health, the closer you got to another metal. This one, you have to kill the Demigorgon in a certain amount of time to do it. Um, if we can get this guy into silver, if we can get silver here, it looks like we might be able to. We might be able to pull a silver out of our asses. So, uh, let's hope this works. Looks like everybody's doing a little bit more damage. Again, you'll notice that the, the more you get involved in this, um, it might be kind of uh, shocking to start at first, but keep practicing. Um, don't worry about kind of failing the first couple times. As you get into other groups, um, you'll you'll notice that people can actually kill the uh, Demogorgon very quickly and all sorts of stuff. I just came out of the insanity well. That was so annoying. Alright, luckily I dodged it. Wow. So yeah, the Tiamat they just ran a go. Or they did a go around the other day. Just instantly, that's great. We have to do Tiamat. Ah, oh, that's the one thing I forgot about when I went through Well of Dragons. I'll have to run through one for you guys, because that's another one that you have to do exactly right, and if you don't know how to do it, you're just going to end up hurting your team. So, this was not the best example, but it does still show you the elements, and I pointed those out that you need to do. I'm going to go through it real quick again. First step, go for only the purple rifts and open them up. Do not open up any of the other rifts. If the two enemies that are going after you after the purple rift is open don't drag them anywhere where nobody else can attack them you need everybody to get them if you're the tank make sure you pull okay i just got a ring of rising defense which is fine those rings are great um but if you are a tank make sure you're pulling that demigorgon in the beginning because if you don't um it, the demigorgon will get involved with everybody else the second thing you need to point that dude to the nearest yellow, um, nearest yellow orb, uh, or portal, I'm gonna call, uh, sorry, I don't know why I keep calling it an orb, it's a portal, um, the black portals heal him, so make sure that you are only, uh, pointing him toward the yellow portals, and then the third one is just go after the Demogorgon, and again, if you're a tank, make sure you're pulling at all, or at all times, all that aggro, and, uh, cleric is healing, and yeah, you're, you're good to go, and you'll get gold in no time. Um, it really all depends on the ten people you have. If you go in randomly, there's always that chance that you just don't have enough DPS um, to do much. Um, but if you keep trying, you, you can get it. All right? So with... Yeah, I think I'm going to try to do a Tiamat in a stream maybe later when we have more people on, just so that I can have more people involved in that. But, uh, yeah, the Tiamat is another one, which I'll go through, guys, that shows you, um, 
and show you how to do it. All right, let me do this. I'm sorry, I'm running a little bit late again. I've been running late lately. It's not good for me. Hey, Nozzle. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Um, you're you're kind of at the end of this stream, but that's okay. You can still follow and... Um, okay, there you did. Um, great. And we are about to do a drawing. So get ready for it, Nozzle. I'm going to give you guys some points so you can all be a part of it. And it's going to be some great... Uh, great, either a campaign, a companion, or a mount. Rare, maybe. So we'll see what we got here. My dog has a piece of plastic in her mouth. I don't know why. The crap she does. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. See, this is why I don't have a recording video of me right now, because if you did, you'd just see me wrestling with my dog, like, the whole time during the stream. <laughs> um, Alright, let's load the stronghold. Great! Good, Nozzle. Glad you could come here. Yeah, thank you. Um, Yeah, sorry you're, um, we're kind of getting to the end of the stream, but I have so many different streams that I do. So I'm about to do two other streams um, next week. And Neverwinter. Uh, I also stream Paladin, so it depends on which friend you got recommended to come here. Nozzle, it's up to you. Uh, can you do you know, or was it just some guy, uh, somebody who came aboard the uh, dur dur the stream? But I do two things. I, I stream Paladins and Neverwinter, and I have all different kinds of people. So, uh, but let's see what we got today for the Guild Bank. What is the prize that people want to win? Here we go. Look at all this good stuff. Ooh, we got a Spear of Black Ice that someone put in. No way. Dude, we have some great guild members. Who else we got? I got Frozen Gala. What is this thing? Oh, I don't know why I withdrawed it. I should have looked at it. Let's look at this thing. This looks cool. Maybe we should give this away. <laughs> I need to organize my inventory. <sighs> I almost hit bind, guys. That would have been bad. Here we go. Ooh. Dude, he is fat. Um, anyway. <laughs> Here's his stats. He is a defender, I'm assuming. Active bonus. Increased damage resistance up to 7.5% based on percentage of damage you have taken. Ooh, that's a good bonus. That's a real good bonus. Um, got some good health and some defense. So we're going to give this away. And uh, let's go ahead and do that right now, shall we? Everybody who's ready, we're going to do a follower-only raffle. If raffle starts, let's do 25. Entry fee. If you guys can go ahead and you're going to put exclamation point F, raffle. And that's lowercase f. Do not do uppercase. Um, just in case it my bot wants to be all picky about it. Um, but anyway. Yeah, look at you, DC. Right in, right in. Alright, we got a nice, nice companion here. A rare companion. Uh, he's a defender. Um, again, you do not have to be part of the... <laughs> Frapple. Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, John. I think that's so funny. You do that every time. Um, so... I'm giving away this Frozen Galeb Dur. Yeah, look at that name. That's a handful. Um, Derb. Actually, you can call him Derb or something. Um, Frapple. There we go. Frapple. Tra <laughs> John, it's Frapple with F-F-L-E. You have trouble with this every time. Um, also, if you are having issues at typing it in, um, you can also refresh the page. Yes, DC said that. Yep, refresh the page because sometimes Mixer just does not get it. Yes, Potato, you got it right this time. Corey, not entering. Well, thank you, Corey, for letting us know about that. <laughs> oh, Travis entered. Well, it's okay. Travis is blocked. So I I'm just kidding. You're not. You're not blocked, Travis. Um, so yeah, try again, Electric. We got a little bit more time left. Hopefully, you can get it in there. It's exclamation point F raffle. Mixer needs to fix that. I've already told one of the moderators that that happens, and they're not fixing it. I don't know why. 
Did I hear Frappe? Yeah, if you want to do that, I mean, yeah, why not? Exclamation point Frappe. Maybe, you know what I'll do is I'm going to put that as part. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that right now. I have the chat thing up. If I add, I'm going to add something and I'm going to add the command. Frappe. Ooh. All right, that's cool. All right, I just added, tried to add something. Why is it not adding? Frackalacky. Oh, and again, clutch. Clutch. Spell check is killing me. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I guys, yeah, it, you just gotta, uh, you, Mixer's all bad, and then if you don't type it in right, it's not it. You know what, maybe next time, since we're having some issues, um, I will probably put a little bit more time on it instead of five minutes, and get that going. But, uh, congratulations, DC, I will get this to you. Again, I my stream Neverwinter. I do Neverwinter twice a week, so next week it'll probably be a Tuesday Thursday, unless I change it, but it will change on my Mixer site. Um, so just make sure you're paying attention. I apologize if you guys were going to be watching my stream last night. I came with a big migraine. Came down with a big migraine. I kind of had to cancel it at the last moment and wasn't able to change my Mixer profile. I'll create a command for you guys for the coffee, because... I like adding things that people do to the stream. Yeah, I did that. I added it. Come on, bot. I'm gonna have to add it till next stream, guys. But uh great job, glad you Thank you all so much for all the people who followed tonight. Uh, we had a lot of new faces, loved it, loved all the chatter. Hope this was good for you. Um, let's see, what, what am I going to do next week? What do I want to do next week? Anybody got ideas? Tiamat. Ideas? Tiamat? We're going to try to do Tiamat next week? All right, we're going to do Tiamat. And again, if you are part of this stream, you can always join in, even if you're not part of our guild. Uh, I will put our guild out there, though. It's an awesome guild. We are, a, uh, we spread open our arms and take anybody and everybody, and we will help you with anything, and we have a lot of good stuff. Um, also, we have an alliance that is available, so if you are part of another guild and you want to be in an awesome alliance, come join our alliance, because we do things all the time. Um, yes, spread the word. This is good stuff. If you guys have any other friends that aren't even part of the guild, um, just let them know about this stream. Again, I stream other stuff too, so it's up to you guys whether you want to actually join in and spread the word as well with that, but uh, we're going to have some good stuff. Yes. Oh, good. Alan's off Tuesday and Thursday. He's gonna be here. We have, we have free beer. <laughs> right? Yeah. So Alan's like, let's do Tiamat. No, I'm not gonna do anything. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I will get your your prize, DC, as soon the end here. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, give other, give me other suggestions on other things we can do next week. I have Tiamat, but uh. Maybe we'll run some dungeons. There's some other dungeons we can run as well. All right. Well, with that, I bid you all a good night. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next week. Catch me out. Uh, catch me on uh, here during the weekend, though. I'll probably be streaming some paladins and having some fun playing as well. With that, have a good night.